Hello everyone and welcome to our virtual celebration for the class of 2020. My name is Sarah Dilberian and I'm the senior class representative for the commencement committee. While this is not the way that any of us planned on spending May 22nd, we still wanted to gather and celebrate together. As Dean Friedi said in her town hall meeting a few weeks ago, May 22nd is still the day in which our degrees are conferred and we're officially graduated from the College of the Holy Cross. So we've gathered together many congratulations from across the campus community that we'd love to share with you today. I'd encourage you to share how you're celebrating from home using the hashtag HC2020. Thank you so much for being here with us and congratulations to all. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, Holy Cross 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to the Holy Cross class. Congratulations to the class. Congratulations, Holy Cross class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of all you've accomplished. You've learned so much and faced so many challenges during your time at Holy Cross. Well done. We are so grateful for the gift of your presence these last four years. Good luck in all your future endeavors. Please make sure you come back to campus as much as possible because once a Seder, always a Seder. Oh hey, seniors, you rock. Class of 2020, you will always be part of the Holy Cross family. Remember to bask in this moment and celebrate with your village because you earned it. And I just want to thank you for all the wonderful conversations I've had with you. Be safe, be strong, and God bless. Class of 2020, your top shelf. We're so proud of you and all that you contributed to the Worcester and Holy Cross communities. The entire world needs fresh minds and new ideas. This is your time. Being separated is a challenge, but over the last four years, you have shown me that you lean into challenges. You support each other through them. Go forth and set the world on fire. Just make sure it's not in the lab. As a grad, a dad, and Mr. Hogan to some of you, congratulations and we are all so proud of what you accomplished. We're doggone proud of you. Well done. I cannot wait to see how you help make this world more loving, more just, and more merciful. I for one cannot wait to see what you do next. Go forth and set the world on fire. To the class of 2020, congratulations from all of us. Congratulations. Congratulations, Holy Cross, class of 2020. 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 Congratulations to the class of 2020. Sending you love and light. We should congratulate the class of 2020 on a job well done. Well said. Hello, members of the class of 2020, family and friends, faculty and staff. I am Margaret Frigi, provost and dean of the college, and I am delighted that you have chosen to join us at this virtual celebration of the extraordinary class of 2020. Members of the class of 2020, as you have just seen in the video, we are so proud of each and every one of you and all you have accomplished at Holy Cross. For the past four years, we have watched as you have grown and developed, built community with one another and explored your wide ranging academic interests. You have done research together in the science labs, performed together in the concert hall and on the theater stage, competed together on athletic fields, ice rinks, courts, and on the water, and served together in the Worcester schools, shelters, food banks, and nursing homes. You have demonstrated perseverance, creativity, and resilience as you have completed your Holy Cross career in a way that none of us could have imagined. You have comforted one another in times of tragedy, you have confronted one another in the face of discrimination. And you have engaged in dialogue with one another on the challenges facing our Holy Cross community and our world. And through it all, you have made a difference at Holy Cross, 
in the city of Worcester and in the larger world. Whether through creating a coding camp for youth, presenting research at national and international conferences, serving in Appalachia or Haiti, or establishing the Green Fund and advocating for us to hire a sustainability director, you have made a difference. Your Holy Cross education has given you a breadth of perspective and the critical analytical skills that will prepare you to confront many of the challenges you are likely to face in the world. Equally importantly, your Holy Cross education, both inside and outside the classroom, has, I hope, nurtured in you the strength of purpose and commitment to others that will compel you to confront these challenges. I believe you will confront these challenges, and I know you will continue to make a difference. Several weeks ago, in my remarks for the open house for the class of 2024, I noted Holy Cross graduates are not found on the sidelines. They are found on the front lines. We see this every day as we see how our alumni are confronting the challenges posed by COVID-19. Today, we mark your transition from Holy Cross students to Holy Cross graduates. You are joining the thousands who came before you and are serving on the front lines. We so wish that we could be together to mark this occasion. We are committed to being together next spring. And at that time, we will be able to celebrate all that you have accomplished as students and the many ways you will have taken your Holy Cross education into the world. We will celebrate not just what you have done, but also what you will be doing with your fellow graduates on the front lines. And now the moment you have been waiting for, the conferral of your degree. Your degrees have been posted on your transcript and we have sent you a digital copy of your official diploma. On behalf of the faculty and administration at the College of the Holy Cross, in my role as provost and dean of the college, having certified the completion of all necessary degree requirements, it is my privilege to confer upon you the degree Artis Baccalaureatum, Bachelor of Arts from the College of the Holy Cross on this day, the 22nd of May in the year 2020. Faculty and staff, family and friends, please give our graduates a round of applause. And now it is my pleasure to hand things over to the president of the College of the Holy Cross. Father Burroughs, I officially present to you the graduates of the Holy Cross class of 2020. Congratulations, members of the class of 2020. While we have gathered virtually to celebrate the conferral of your degrees, if not your commencement, all of us at the college will forever think of you as a most resilient, creative, and generous class who sustained many challenges and triumphed. Today, you join the ranks of the remarkable and spirited Holy Cross alumni who are noted for their concern for our world, for the most vulnerable within it, for peace with justice, and for supporting the advancement of their local communities. And with concern and care for their fellow alums, that is recognized as one of the college's most unique points of pride, you have an incredible community of support which surrounds you today. This morning, 11 members of your class were officially commissioned as officers in the U.S. Navy through our Naval ROTC program, and we congratulate them as they prepare for their first assignments, which begin shortly. The Holy Cross class of 2020 has celebrated many moments in the past four years, which began on August 27, 2016, 
when 768 of you moved on to Mount St. James and together with your families celebrated the Mass of the Holy Spirit. You were the first class to experience the blessing of the Joyce Contemplative Center for all four of your years here, and I know that many of you have participated in programs and retreats there. You helped mark the 175th anniversary of the founding of the college with a moving liturgy in St. Joseph's Chapel with Cardinal O'Malley and a celebratory picnic and musical evening on the Kimball Quad afterwards. You have been members of championship and record-setting teams and moved us with your athletic pursuits and achievements. You have performed in Fenwick Theater, the Brooks Concert Hall, St. Joseph's Chapel, the Hogan Oval, and many informal settings with music, theater, and choral performances which have mesmerized us. Many of you have spent your summers on campus doing research with faculty and working in the labs. You have served the underserved in our city through SPUD and have learned so much about the gifts and challenges of others across our country and beyond our borders through alternate spring break, immersion experiences, and study abroad. And with you, we have all engaged in critical dialogues about serious social issues which have been both difficult and critically necessary for the future and the health of our community. You have made friends for a lifetime and have been inspired to continue your education in graduate studies through national and international service organizations and by entering the workforce. Know that your faculty, chaplains, coaches, and student life professionals are here to support you and encourage you in the months and the years ahead. May the questions that your education and formation here have encouraged and inspired give you direction and passion for the work ahead. And may your faith in God and each other bring you blessing and hope in all that lies before you. Fellow Crusaders, congratulations. Your graduation is unlike any other in the storied history of Holy Cross. But in its singularity, it also speaks to the commonality of becoming men and women for others. And we hope that you do not lose sight of everything that each and every one of you have accomplished these past four years. Adrian and I are so proud to know so many of you and to welcome you into the Holy Cross alumni community. Welcome and congrats again. On behalf of the New York Leadership Council, congratulations to the great and now truly unique class of 2020. It's my pleasure to be able to welcome you as our newest members. You're joining a group of 36,000 crusaders from around the world. We're a big and diverse family, but one that'll be there with you for the rest of your lives. You are joining an alumni group that wants to help you in any way possible. So do not hesitate to reach out for help. Cheers to you the great class of 2020. Congratulations. The entire Holy Cross community is so proud of you and you have so much to look forward to as Holy Cross alumni. It was a tough uh, finish to your senior year, but I'm sure you'll go on to prosper in the future. I wanted to also welcome you to the Holy Cross alumni family, uh, which will be with you for years to come. It's important to stay positive and I am very happy to welcome you to the alumni community. I believe in you, I am rooting for you, and I know that you will have a positive impact in the community. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. This year has been rough, but you guys all made it through. You should all be proud. Congratulations. And no, the current adversity that we are all experiencing now will make you even more agile, more resourceful, more resilient. Congratulating the awesome class of 2020. We know this is not the graduation ceremony you envisioned when you first came to Mount St. James. I can't imagine the feelings you all have given where we are now in the world. And I know it's been a tough time, but just know that the alumni community has your back for anything you need. I have Holy Cross to thank for that gift of grit. And when you need it most in your life, Holy Cross will remind you of that. We've graduated true, but the cross is not done teaching us yet, not by a long shot. And just know that we've never needed Holy Cross graduates more than we do today. Your ability to think through problems and come up with creative solutions are what the world needs now more than ever. 
So thank you so much and all the best as you go on to your next chapter. And you will always lift high the cross. Congratulations. You should all be super proud of yourselves and getting to this milestone. And I love getting to know many of you on campus. And I know you'll all do great things and have a tremendous impact on the world. Let us pray. Almighty God, bless the members of the class of 2020. As today we mark the conferral of their degrees from the College of the Holy Cross, grant to them the gift of strength and resilience and a serenity to continue to be open to new ideas, to be patient with ambiguity and uncertainty, and to combine a passion for truth with respect for the views of others. As they venture out into a world that is broken and hurting, help them to be your hands and feet, accompanying those most in need and speaking up for those who are shouted down, so that the community they experienced here on Mount St. James a community marked by freedom, mutual respect, and civility might be established in all places with their gifts and by your guidance. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hi, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria Elena Bevilacqua, and I am a 2020 class president. First of all, I wanted to say congratulations on successfully completing your Holy Cross education and experience. It has been a pleasure and a blessing to be able to spend the past four years together as a class on the Hill. I hope by now you have all received your gift, however that may have gotten to you, and that you've been able to hold off on opening it. I'll invite everyone to open them together now, and don't worry, I'll wait. This purple banner reads, Class of 2020 United, below the Holy Cross logo. I hope that you can hang this banner somewhere where you are constantly reminded of this message. As Father Burroughs said, hopefully this banner will serve as a reminder of all that we've weathered together, but also a reminder that Mount St. James will always be our home. Please share your pictures with us using the hashtag HC2020. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all soon. Bye. My favorite memories at Holy Cross are of little moments made with cherished friends that make up my time on the hill. Like waiting for a buddy outside the chapel for Wednesday night mass, meeting up with my friends at Hogan for Monday night yoga, and adventures abroad walking the streets of Cork City. My Holy Cross experience has helped me grow emotionally, academically, spiritually, and socially, and has helped me learn a lot about myself and my place in this world. I think that my Holy Cross experience has changed me for the better. I have definitely grown as a person and have learned a lot about myself in these past couple of years. Um, I think it's made me more resilient, more open-minded, and a fighter who doesn't give up and really fights for what she wants. In the past four years of being a Holy Cross student, I have grown to become more intellectually curious and I've also become very conscious of my immediate surroundings and of what's going on in the world in general. If I could describe my Holy Cross experience in one word, it would be growth. Love, community, support, and pride. There is such a sense of pride here at Holy Cross, both on the hill and when you leave the hill. Probably favorite part of the Holy Cross community, uh, definitely the Holy Cross alumni network, because whenever you reach out, they're always happy to help and assist you in whatever you're trying to accomplish. It's not just like one check-in. I always have alum reaching out to me and making sure that I'm doing well, even during these hard times with COVID-19. My favorite aspect about the Holy Cross community is how we support one another in our academic, spiritual, and personal growth. Everyone is so passionate about something. Uh, we're all not passionate about the same thing, and that's okay, but we're all passionate about something. The small class is the reason why I came to Holy Cross to, to begin with. I've enjoyed the, the professors, uh, the close interactions that I've had, as well as the group discussions. Those have been probably my favorite part of the whole entire experience. 
Special shout out to Ward Thomas, Father Harmon, Professor De La Paz, and Professor Shorter, Professor Christina Reardon, Jenny Ryan, Candy Huss, Daniel Poche, Susan Sweeney, Rebecca Castleman, Nicole Lawrence, Professor Michelle Mondu, Professor Cass, Professor D'Angela, Stephanie Yule. I met her my sophomore year, and she's just been a constant rock, a constant mentor, a constant person that I can go to for anything. Leaving Holy Cross, I now have a better understanding of who I want to be in the world and what kind of difference I can make in it. It taught me how to be independent and also how to accept challenges for what they are and how to defeat these challenges. The three and a half years on a hill I had with my friends were so fun and I'm forever grateful for it. And being home, we always crack jokes, we're in group chats, we face on each other, um, try to keep our positive energies up and finish out the year strong. Four years ago, our move-in day was a highlight. No one does move-in day like Holy Cross. And now, as a member of the class of 2020, we will always remember our move-out day. Thank you, Holy Cross. Thank you, class of 2020. Our class is for the record books. I just wanted to say thank you to Holy Cross. Congrats to class of 2020. We've made it. Warm greetings to you all, my intellectual and spiritual brothers and sisters. My name is Tony Fauci, and I am the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes of Health. My other job is as a member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force. Wearing both hats today, I am delighted to have this opportunity to address the College of the Holy Cross Class of 2020 and to welcome administrators, faculty, staff, and alumni of the Holy Cross community who are joining in viewing this special event. We are currently living through an unprecedented global pandemic, truly one for the history books. I am profoundly aware that graduating during this time and in this virtual way, unable to celebrate in person this important milestone in your lives with your friends, classmates, and teachers is extremely difficult. I deeply empathize with the situation in which you find yourselves. However, I encourage you to stay strong and unflinching. The country and the world need your talent, your energy, your resolve, and your character. A staggering number of lives have been lost to COVID-19 in just a few months, a deeply disturbing number to ponder. To be successful in confronting this global challenge and return to some form of normality, we must be united in our efforts to prevail. As you begin the next phase of your lives, some of you will be working directly to help contain and overcome this pandemic. Certainly, in some manner or form, all of us will be doing our parts as individuals, family members, and members of society. In this regard, I would like to take a few moments to reflect on my formative years at Holy Cross and how that experience has influenced my life and career and the position in which I find myself right now as part of the White House Coronavirus Task Force. The College of the Holy Cross from which I graduated in 1962 holds a very special place in my heart. I was a classics major with a pre-medical concentration. Permeated the entire experience was the Jesuit spirit of intellectual rigor. Precision of thought and economy of expression are tenets that have remained my touchstones to this day apply to how I think, how I write, and how I communicate with the public, especially during these currently unsettling times. Just as important, however, was the Jesuit emphasis on social justice and service to others. And now is the time, if ever there was one, for us to care selflessly about one another. The education that you and I have received at Holy Cross, steeped in Jesuit traditions, should suit us well 
to confront and ultimately overcome this historic pandemic. And so stay safe. And I look forward to the good work you will contribute in the years ahead. Congratulations on your graduation and the hard work that brought you to this pivotal point in your lives. I know you will be guided in the future by the important lessons and moral mentorship you have received during your time at Holy Cross. I wish you good health and all the best as you pursue the upcoming adventures in your lives. With gratitude and joy, this celebration of the class of 2020 comes to a close with the promise of even more joyous times ahead. Because of what we have been given and who we have become here on Mount St. James, we know how important community is for us, and we know that the years ahead will only draw us even closer together. Enjoy the rest of this day as you officially become a graduate of the College of the Holy Cross and a member of our esteemed Alumni Association. And as you celebrate, remember to thank all those who have helped you arrive at this moment, your parents and family who supported you in so many ways, your faculty and staff who have taught and guided you, and your great friends who have walked with you and put up with you in good times and in bad. I look forward to our in-person celebration and will keep you all in my prayers in the weeks and months ahead as you enter into this new season of life. God bless you all. Oh,